Well, Vicki, design planning for this project was completed back in 2012, but it sat on the shelves for years while the city secured funding. Then in 2021, the city announced it had the funding and construction would soon begin. Now, three years later, it may finally be happening. It's been 12 years since design plans for a reimagined East Market Street were first unveiled. It took the city almost 10 years to lock in the $10.3 million needed for the project. Construction was set to begin in 2022, but public works officials tell WLKY utility conflicts required an updated design. The adjustments ultimately delayed the project another three years. I felt like I had more time to prepare and more time to get my online presence really ready for this uh, transition. Amanda Dare opened Woman-Owned Wallet on East Market Street in 2020. Since then, she has built up an online following that she plans to lean into heavily when construction begins this spring. We're prepared fully to have an online store presence that's a little bit stronger, as well as hosting some summer events at other locations and putting our storefront in other parts of the city so that while it's being you know, worked on, we don't have any interruptions with business. Some businesses are more concerned about how the disruptions will impact their bottom line, pointing to a similar streetscape project last year in downtown New Albany that left many businesses struggling. Ken Herndon lives just a block off East Market Street and happens to be running for Metro Council District 4. He's hopeful the impacts will be minimal with construction taking place just one block at a time. I headed the Nulu Business Association Public Space Committee that deals with that directly and worked with the city folks at Public Works and we believe that we have put together a program of insulation that will disrupt businesses as little as possible. The project runs from 1st Street to Johnson Street. It will swap out angled parking for parallel parking while reallocating one eastbound lane of traffic and adding curb extensions, bike lanes, and new trees and landscaping. Over the years, it's just been kind of a hodgepodge of trees and sidewalks and benches and everything, and this will be bring more visual cohesion, I believe. I think it's just going to make it a better experience for people to visit as well as locals to come downtown. The construction is set to begin this May after the Derby and is expected to be completed by next summer. Reporting live in studio, Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Thank you.